Hi, this is Lucy, your Clarity Coach, and this is Tuesday Talks at 3. This is the last episode of the year. We are bringing Tuesday Talks at 3 to a beautiful close. And even as we bring it to this close, we are sure to make a difference. And because you have been with me the entire year, I want to say thank you so much. You have kept me company here. We have given you opportunities to come on and speak and you've come. We've asked questions and of course today we definitely are going to be asking a question of you and I have my guest today. My guest, I'll be introducing her in a moment. The topic that we're looking at is empowered family boundaries and to words that we are looking at connections, family connections. And my coach helps people to get unstuck in that family environment and achieve a fresh start. And she does this through coaching, she does this through counseling. She is certified, and she's a certified counselor and a coach. I mean, look at that double package. And she brings with her all this experience in blended families also. It's just an amazing thing that she does. And I'm just gonna bring her up on to the screen. Let's see. today as I said is all about family connection and I do hope that by the time we are done we will have a deeper understanding of what it is that we're doing and there's Jackie she's coming up hello Jackie lovely hi. to see you hi you know I'm new at this <laughs> so well, I can't see, you're, you're I doing can't see myself <laughs> You can't see yourself. Well, I can see you. Okay. I can hear okay. you. And that's what's key. And I love the hair. Thank you. I love thank the hair. You. <laughs> You're looking lovely too. Oh, well, thank you so much. This is now my, um, yes, this is what I wear to work. So I've got my whole logo there, which is Lucy, your clarity coach. Oh, and okay. that's what I wear when I'm working. Okay. Branding. It's, it's called branding, branding, branding. <laughs> Yeah, good at it. Asante sana. Well, mm -hmm. Jackie, you're joining us for Empowered Family Boundaries. And I really appreciate this because you are about families. You are about fresh starts. Mm -hmm. And today's topic, connection, I couldn't think of anybody else better than you to bring home this message of boundaries and connection. Because not only is it important to have these boundaries, but there's an, a deeper understanding that is your cup of tea. And this is why you're here today. Thank you. My experience, well, you're most welcome. My experience with family boundaries is of discipline. My experience with family boundaries is of knowing how to show up. You know, in Kenyanese, we like to say, Sisi kwetu atufanya ivo. Or, you know, kwao wanafanya ivo. That is typical Kenyanese. Okay. But it comes from boundaries. Because the people who are leading the home, the guardians, the parents, are telling us exactly how we're going to appear in this home, rather. How we're going to show up. And we take this beyond that nuclear family into our new families the new families that we have, because it becomes our identity, becomes our belief, and anytime somebody tries to say something. Otherwise, you know, we are ready to roll up our sleeves and get into a fight because this is how we've been socialized from home. So for me, family boundaries have worked very well for me. And I found that when I got married, I didn't realize that family boundaries were going to be a thing until we got our first child. And suddenly this conversation needed to be had because we all had different versions of how we should raise this child. And mm -hmm. that time you're in love, you've got these stars through your eyes, so mm -hmm. anything you are being told went. Mm -hmm. And a few years later, you wish that you had spoken up because mm -hmm. something's been done which you are told are not congruent with your values mm -hmm. and so much happened but when we finally got it right because conversations were had mm -hmm. there was a beautiful and continues to be a beautiful space because there has been growth 
However, I am now here wondering whether there has been connection. And this is what <laughs> you're going to be able to shed a light on so that I can have a deeper understanding for myself. I don't know about the other guys here, but I'm here to learn. So my question to you then is, what is the role of family boundaries in forming these said connections? Thank you so much for hosting me and this invite. And thank you so much for picking this topic, especially during this time where we are going to get into festivities and we are going to spend a lot of time with our oh, family. Oh, yes. And if at all there is disconnection, this is the season that we will see disconnections and this is the season that we see connections in families. Yes. Now, yes. boundaries are clearly defined limits and guidelines okay. that individuals in a family observe okay yeah. yeah and most of us have them some we have them because we intentionally created them uh -huh. and for others the, it was not intentional so we've just gone with the flow and uh, adapted to what our parents taught us we've not recreated any we've not created new so each family I don't know what kind of boundaries they have, but each family has boundaries. Mm. And we all have healthy or unhealthy boundaries. Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh -huh. the fact that you don't have boundaries, also that just means the, the boundaries are unhealthy. It doesn't mean that you don't have any. You oh, might be having them, but they are not healthy. Yes. Now, yes. boundaries play actually a big, big role in forming connections in our families. Okay. The fact Okay. First role is emotional safety. Okay. Boundaries actually create emotional safety. Do we feel emotionally safe in our families? Yeah. Do we feel emotionally safe in our families? Because that will increase the connection in families. Most of us, as adults, the version of who we are and the yes. version of what our family thinks we are yes. are two different different uh, persons oh wow because there was no safe space for you to be you for you to emotionally express yourself for you to emotionally have a shoulder to cry on and say you know what i've been bullied in school some of mm. us would not see it mm. why because it, it would be worse or we know we will not get support mm. so mm. boundaries create the role of boundaries is to create emotional safety emotional safety yes and if we create that then there'll be more connection the yeah. other role is to encourage mutual respect uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. Uh -huh. i am sure most of us listening here are africans and kenyans and most african parents always feel like they are the ones to be respected we actually don't even think at times that kids also de <laughs> deserve it <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave so we that one there yeah, Jackie, we... we'll just leave that one there on the table <laughs> so we don't think that kids also deserve yeah. respect yeah so just teach encouraging mutual respect that you can also offer respect to your children yeah. respect their personal space knock on their doors when you get into their rooms yeah that's yeah. simple respect and for our generation, I think it would be great for us to say, I'm sorry. We shouldn't be like our parents who never said those words, you know, the way yeah. they would say, in fact, those people who are lucky and had parents that would say, I'm sorry, they just ask you, Leo to kukiki chapo. You know, that is <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was the love language. Yeah, that is the love language. <laughs> and some of us maybe never even got the sorry anyway. Yeah. So yeah. encouraging mutual respect, yeah. simple things like respect, even respecting emotional expression. Yeah. When my child comes in and they are angry and they are not ready to speak, yeah. can I, am I able to give them that boundary, that space yeah. that if you cool down, now we can converse. I am here and I'm available yeah. to listen to you and just know what has been going on. Yeah. So boundary encourages mutual respect yes, yes the third yes. thing that boundaries uh 
encourage in our families and these things the things that i'm mentioning actually increase connection in family okay yes okay because remember your theme was family connection yes yes so do boundaries play a role in family connections yes they do yes they do the third way they facilitate open communication mm -hmm. yeah. 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 remember when we have a safe space then we are able to express ourselves and communicate openly mm -hmm. which is something that most of us adults who are raised by the other generation did not have that space because they didn't know how to give us the safe space yeah. or rather maybe they had so much going on in their lives that they didn't have that capacity to give us that safe space mm. so when you put healthy boundaries that enable dialogue mm. in your family mm -hmm. Mm. It increases open communication and it also increases connection. It reduces conflict. Why? Because there's an environment available mm. for open discussions. Mm. Concerns can be shared yeah. without, without judgment. Wow. Yeah. wow. Concerns so, can be shared without judgment. Yes. Wow. Okay. So that is is what also healthy boundaries help mm. in building family connection mm. healthy boundaries also promote healthy dependency mm -hmm. okay healthy de we can dependency yes ah, okay. Th those words can go together in a statement yeah healthy okay dependency you know we are not island even in the family we depend on each other so the, it promotes a balance of support and independence, mm. autonomy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. When you put healthy boundaries, let's give an example of what I've just talked about. Yeah. Giving your child space to process the emotions and then come back to yeah. you. That on its own gives them autonomy yeah. because they have that space yeah. to process the emotions and yeah. then come and talk about it. Yeah. Instead of the nudging, sasa wewe kwa ninu na nyamaza kila saa, you know, now we start belittling it, you know. Yeah. So we have given them autonomy to be self, to be themselves. Yeah. But still, yeah. there's dependency that I am here and available when you are ready to speak. So healthy yeah. dependency. Yes, it gives healthy dependency, not core dependency or that the, the one that somebody is over dependent on a parent or a parent over dependent on a child or one person over dependent on another. Yeah. Make yeah, it I sense. Wow. Yes. yes. That makes a lot of sense. Open up. It opens up so much more. And um, there's something I just want to share here. Mm -hmm. I, I found that I, I, I pivoted. That's the word. You know, now there's the mm -hmm. buzzwords. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mine is I pivoted. I pivoted uh, with my mm -hmm. firstborn child. Uh, um, I was mirroring how I was raised. I was mirroring that. And I found I was. Lucy, can you hear me? The discipline was Lucy, being. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, There's I can some, hear you very some, some Yes, we are, yes, we are missing yes. some of your statements. Oh, you are okay. Yeah. And yeah. here I am thinking so, that I'm very clear. So you are um, saying you pivoted? Yes. So I pivoted mm -hmm. um, when mm -hmm. my son turned ten mm -hmm. because I was reflecting, or rather, demonstrating the way I was raised. Yeah. Um, that any time yeah. something was done wrong, it was you chapa. That's what it was. Mm. But I shifted, and I can't really remember what it was. I just remember the moment when I had a conversation with him. Mm. And I said mm. to him, from now on, mommy is not going to be chapaing you. Mommy is going to be having a conversation. Mm. Did I watch a movie somewhere? Did somebody say something? But I pivoted. And this began totally different relationship
with my child. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Could somebody confirm Which I, if they can hear us? I believe then was healthy and we were able to put boundaries in these Asians. Um, how we could express ourselves, judgment. So take five. Okay, maybe somebody can confirm. I can see Rose. Rose, are you able to hear us? Rose, if you could just give us a thumbs up or, or okay. drop a comment okay. in the chat. Just confirm. Yes. Uh, Jane oh. Nyamuru. In case, I now started having healthy conversations with my son and then this was a platform that was built for my daughter. By the time she came along, she had it easier with mom. Yeah. Um, but then it's amazing. Then. It's amazing that we were able to have that. But anyway, you were saying so far, there are three things you've talked about, which are very powerful. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love what you're saying. Can you hear me now? Okay. Because I can see Jane Nyamwiru is now saying, I can't hear you. You are breaking, but now. Can you hear me? Okay. Mm hmm I don't know if she's aware that... Okay, Lucy hear. is breaking. Is he back now? Okay, I can hear you. I don't know if the other is can. Lucy back now. Okay. Oh. Okay. So Lucy, okay. Lucy is back now, or Lucy is not back yet. Okay. I think. Am I back yet? We are good. We're just we're just gonna try it one more time. We try it one more time. Can you hear me now? I hear you very clearly. Okay. I... All right. All right. Can hear okay. you very I clearly. I think as you, as, 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 can I continue to the last statement, to the last uh, role? Let me continue and give you the last role. How that can boundaries? Boundaries play in forming connections. Can, can you hear, hear me now? now? Lucy? First, First of all, thank you for sharing your experience. Even though I know you are breaking, I know we have connected and make, made sense of the story. And uh, you are talking about how you had to pivot with your son and decided you'll have conversations instead of the kiboko. Yes. And your daughter actually found a better place, a better parent, because now you had already started this with your son. Yes. That what I think you, you put in place, you put in place an open space for your son yes. to converse with you. And I'm sure you can confirm this. I'm, I'm sure it strengthened your, your connection. The fact that yeah. there was that space for him yeah. to have a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. Now, the last role, I have shared four roles. The last role is that it strengthens boundaries, also strengthen identity and roles in the family. Boundaries mm. help define roles within the family. Mm. Just like you decided to define and say what, my son, my role is not going to be beating you as dis discipline. There yeah. are other ways that I can discipline you. Yeah. Okay. And 
you also strengthened his identity by allowing him to speak about him. So that is strengthening identity. And it reduces confusion and potential conflict. Yeah. When family members understand their roles and also are made comfortable to be who they are in their own identity, it creates space to have a better connection. Mm. So allow me to summarize the five, to just point out the five points of how the role of boundaries in forming connections. What is the role of boundaries in forming connection? Number one, creating emotional safety. Number two, encouraging mutual respect. Number three, facilitating open communication. Number four, promoting healthy dependency. Yeah. And number five, strengthening identity and roles in the family. Mm. Yeah. Fantastic. That's amazing. Can you hear me better now? Yes, we can. Fantastic. I, I love that summary. And, and therefore, because we've talked about how connections can work, uh, my next question would be, how can they create disconnect in families? How can boundaries create disconnect in families? Yeah. Remember the example I gave you about some of us, we, the version that our, especially our parents who raised us, the version that our parents know and the version that we are are two different people. Yes. For some of us. Yes. And this can be brought about by over rigid boundaries. Mm. Mm. You know, excessive strictness, mm. inflexible boundaries. Mm. Mm. So at times as parents, we have these over rigid boundaries and we are so inflexible that mm. it makes some of our family members feel controlled. Okay. Yes. Or they feel alienated. Mm. So at times, they disengage. So we have family relationships that we have disengaged from because of that. Or because we are children and we don't have a say, we don't have, we, we don't have a right, we cannot go to our own homes, we become a version that our parents want to see, but that's not us. Mm. So we always just show up as a version. Sorry. Mm. That's my son wondering, mom, haven't you come home? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> my 20 year old <laughs> they think he's the parent <laughs> yes. because he knows that now mom by now mom should be home <laughs> Hi, where are you anyway <laughs> family connection very deep <laughs> so that's when you are over rigid and, in, and inflexible yes it will disconnect family members yeah when you have lack of clarity or you don't communicate boundaries some of us don't communicate it some of us have unclear boundaries some of us have unspoken boundaries mm. so we don't even know when some family members don't even know when they are stepping on you on the boundaries uh -huh. and you are not saying it uh -huh. so you just uh -huh. have this resentment and this misunderstanding that is happening but we, we don't know that we are actually stepping on another person's boundary or on a family's boundary. Yes. So that creates poor communication. It creates tension. And of course, that will not bring connection. Okay. Mm. And the other thing is inconsistent boundaries. You know, we've mm. set boundaries, but they're inconsistent. Mm. We are inconsistent at times in setting them. And at times we are inconsistent in enforcing them. Yes. Yes. So that causes confusion. Yeah. It erodes trust. Mm. Even your mm. children wonder, but yesterday I did it and it was okay. Mm. Now again today it's not okay. So we don't even trust you. What does mom want? Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 So, yes. evil, you know? yes. so it, it will cause instability in your family relations family connections and let's not talk about these boundaries as parent child boundaries only mm. most of us listening to this here are adults mm -hmm. and at times these are boundaries with our siblings oh yes yeah that we are not consistent with we are we are creating confusion with it it could be boundaries with our husbands mm. today he did a b c d 
you it was okay tomorrow now you're causing it's not consistent you're not enforcing it yeah so let's look at this remember the, the conversation is about the broader family mm. okay so yeah let's go to number four number four at times we set boundaries that build walls uh -huh. how so those are unhealthy uh -huh. yeah you know, we ha do you know we have parents when you do something wrong, instead of having a resolution or having a conflict resolution, we, they, they shut down on you and they build a world and they don't talk to you. Yeah. yeah? So that, that is a boundary that is building walls. It's, okay. it's emotional manipulation. It's emotional abuse. The, the silent treatment, uh, that one. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Silent treatment, yes. Yeah, so yes. instead of having a boundary and communicating, we now build a big wall. Mm. Yeah. So that does not enhance connection. Mm. Mm. That is manipulative mm. and it is distracting. Mm. Okay? Mm. Or people who avoid the conversation, we just avoid the conflict, we avoid the conversation that we have wronged you, but we avoid that conversation because it is uncomfortable. Mm. So when you do that, also it does not enhance connection in families or any relationship. Yes. Now the, yeah. the fifth one, mm. how family, how, how uh, boundaries create disconnection in families is by neglecting individual needs. Okay. This happens to all families, but remember, like you mentioned, I also work with blended families. So this can happen in blended families and it happens also in our other families. Yeah. This is where boundaries that only prioritize on one person's comfort. Mm. Yeah. Or control at the expense of the others. So there, yes. Yes. there are boundaries that are unfair. There yes. are boundaries that are unjust. So it causes feelings of inequality and disconnection. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So yes. Those and we and we see we we see a lot of that, uh, but we are so used to it that we've been socialized yeah. that so and so has to be treated like this, while so and so understands. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And in families, we have the concept of the golden child. You know, the mm -hmm. golden child. The rules are not as strict as the others. Animal they can farm. Get away. It's called it's yeah. called animal farm. <laughs> they can get away with so much yes as the others watch yeah. so that will cause disconnection in families mm. so those are five ways that boundaries can cause disconnection in our families well it's about time that as you give us those five we begin to think outside the box jackie because and we need to let go of these things that that we believe are correct. Like, you know, we always talk about limiting beliefs. They're just beliefs that they have not been tested. They need to be questioned and yeah. put to the test. I know that you're doing something about um, letting go of emotional baggage because by yeah. the time, by the time we are showing up like this, we've got a lot of emotional baggage mm -hmm. and now it is reflecting on our families. And uh, you, you did mention that was an end of year reflection can you tell us a little bit more about that ah i am having an end of year session on saturday it is a group session and mm -hmm. this session is called the emotional reset mm -hmm. most of us actually want to reset in january and not just in january on 31st at midnight when we are disillusioned <laughs> and we are old <laughs> we are not and now we want to start planning. Oh my God, you want to come up with all the research, but your new year stuff, yes. your fresh start does not start on 31st. Yeah. yeah. Your fresh start begins now. And that is what we are doing this Saturday on 30th through Zoom. And it will be from 10 to 12. What we are doing, we are doing an emotional re reset, and that is letting go these years emotional baggage mm -hmm. as you let go this year this year's emotional baggage it will prepare you for the festivities yeah. and it will prepare you for the coming year 
Wow. The registration is 1,500 and it is ongoing. So if you're here and you have gone through something that has been emotionally painful during the year, yes. this yes. is the session for you. Yeah. It is the session where you will be equipped with the tools, skills, and what you need and how do you let go that baggage. Yeah. And you'll be equipped with ways of making the next year work for you. So I am hoping I'll see most of you that are here in the session. Come and let us reset this year. Oh, thank you so much, yeah. Jackie. So she's Coach Jackie Care on yes. Instagram. Follow her. And all the information is there. That's one way I knew about it. Yeah. It's and I'm happy to Instagram. speak about yes. it. Yes, it is yeah. it's on Instagram. Thank you so much. And I want to believe and correct me if I'm wrong, Jackie, mm -hmm. that once we attend this, then we are able to understand boundaries that increase connection in families, right? Yeah. Can you and I think the first, hmm. it, you are able to understand boundaries that will increase connection with families and other people because you'll have dealt with self. Yes. The moment you can deal with self, it is easy to deal with others. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So wow. this Lovely. is a gift that you give yourself, mm. an opportunity that you give yourself to just your emotional wellness. Yes. 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 End of this month. That is 30th Saturday. Fantastic. Before, before we get to January, where I know focus will be thrown out of the windows. <laughs> so let us do this now. <laughs> Let's do this now. Let's 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 have an emotional reset. I love yes. this term. And for only yeah. one thousand five hundred yeah, shillings, it's only it's... one thousand five hundred shillings. So yes. the details are on my insta my Instagram. Follow me. Yes. I've talked about it in so many posts. Yes. And tomorrow I am going to post our workbook. Yes. We have a workbook that is going to help you emotionally, wow. and also a workbook that will help you think about next year. Yes, yeah. yes, fantastic, fantastic. Well, why don't you just give us a sneak peek and tell us the boundaries that can increase connection in families? One of the things, the boundaries that the boundaries that can increase. How many minutes do I have? But I know I'm going. No, that's that's it. That was, those are enough minutes. <laughs> so let's talk about the boundaries that increase connection in families. Yes. yes. Most of them are going to sound like a repetition of what we started. The role of boundaries in families remember where we started yeah. so most of yeah. them sound like that so respecting yeah. personal space and privacy okay when we teach each other in family to respect family members that, that respect others others spaces whether it is physical or emotional it mm. fosters trust and individuality mm. yeah and i gave an example of as parents knock on your son's door before you get in and teach them to knock on each other's door before they get in teach them to respect each other that will form connect will increase connection mm. consistent communication boundaries if we become intentional to have open and respectful communication mm. that will encourage honest dialogue that mm. will strengthen our bonds mm -hmm. now we are in a we live in a world that we are busy and apart from being busy we are also having these phones that take our time we can sit in the sitting room but we are together you know yes so yes. we need to be so intentional and maybe that goes to the number three point quality time boundaries okay can we be intentional where we just now have quality time boundaries when we are together, can we have a conversation and distracted interactions together? So that yes. we are not together as a family, but we are busy talking to the people that are not here. You know, mm -hmm. that is what happens. Mm -hmm. When we meet in restaurants, we are together, but looking for the people that are not there by our yes. phones. Yes. So yes. the device-free dinners, those times, when we create boundaries about around those times and those places that give us quality time and uh, are what are to connect it will mm. enhance our togetherness and mm. it will enhance the bonds and the connection yeah. in our family yeah. yeah 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 now the other thing is healthy healthy emotional boundaries okay and most, most of us this is difficult allowing and encouraging members to express their emotions 
just to express them without judgment huh? and at times without making it about us wow can i deal yes. usually is the question <laughs> by the time somebody is offloading can i deal yes. what is required yes. of me to yeah. be there like you said healthy dependency yeah that's a hard one jack and at times all you need to do is to be the safe space and just listen okay yeah okay. at times it's just to listen all right that is how you hold the capacity you don't even have to have solutions maybe as parents you want to have to solutions but we don't have to have solutions could we listen and say i'm going to think about how, how it best to help you i'm not sure i know how to give yes. me just this night and then i'll get back to you wow yeah that is better than now minimizing it shrinking it calling them names ah we una penda tuko na issues you know you just na like me drama on a drama what the hell now that <laughs> even makes it worse <laughs> Yeah. So do we if we can create healthy emotional spaces, safe spaces for members of our family. Let me tell you a joke. One of yeah. the jokes. It's not yeah. like a joke. It is actually a reality and a fact. Yes. Most of us women and I'm sure I don't know you guys don't don't want to write here. So I'm not sure how many people are here or if they're all women. <laughs> But most women yeah. we always say I want a man that can be vulnerable to me. Yes. A man that can yeah, can be vulnerable. Yes. But there's this psychologist that was asking, do you have the capacity when he cries, when he tells you what is happening and he actually cries? Woo! Now we women become uncomfortable. Yes. We want it but we become so uncomfortable and yes. we don't know what to do with it. Yes. Yeah. So we don't know how to hold that space. So such things we want a man that is vulnerable then do we have the capacity to hold space mm. without mm. making them feel less than mm. but to mm. express that mm. aspect of their vulnerability. Mm. That's just uh, well, I mean I mean what I'm taking away from that difficult bit is yes. just listen. Yeah. As you're holding that space just listen. Yeah. Hey, <sighs> silence is also a conversation. At times that what is the whole day space that is all you need to do wow all you need to do wow it is better than minimizing what i am going through and one of my favorite quotes that i like and i think i've posted more than once yeah. when somebody tells you what they are going through it is not your right to minimize it and say no that is not true yes because yeah. it is them i'm experiencing it yes. yeah now the last thing is not the last thing i think second last Yes. role and responsibility boundaries let's have clear defining roles within the family such as chores decision making yes. you know like a parent this is what i have decided to do as a parent this is yeah. what i will this is you know so that also encouraging encourages connection and also when everybody contributes to the fair and consistent manner of the family how the family operates it increases connection connection okay? yeah. And, yeah and then the last thing is let's have healthy boundaries around conflict resolution oh. yeah when let us agree as a family that we will have conflict and let us intentionally decide that when we have conflicts we are going to solve our disagreements in respectful manner okay jackie Yes. you are talking about emotions and in this in this storm you you want me to control my emotions yeah. yeah or yourself and you can say you know what this is too much for me yeah allow me to take a walk and people should be allowed to take a walk and come back later when they are better don't force people no 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 we have to talk now 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 lazima tumalize hii leo that does not work lakini kwa moto moto tumalize sasa jaki jaki can you hear now i'm hearing you yeah i'm saying but mm -hmm. i'm moto moto with the conflict now you want me to wait the purpose of i always say the purpose of communication is to ensure that what you're communicating has reached its has served has reached the 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 receiver yes. so 
if I decide and say, no, 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 I want to communicate now, I want to communicate now, then that purpose, that person is not going to receive what you're saying. So your communication is going nowhere. Okay, understood. Yeah. Understood. So, Where? the person that has high emotions and those emotions are too much is allowed to go and take a break. Okay. The person that needs to solve it now, 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 needs also to give time. Yes. Otherwise, Take you'll care. be communicating to somebody that is not hearing and that communication will not serve the purpose that you wanted it to serve. Yes. Yeah. Where? Where, Jackie? That is powerful and a lot for us to internalize. What is your call to action to us? I think we need to be intentional and deliberate about our boundaries. Let's not think that it just happens. Yes. Yeah. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need okay. to be intentionally and deliberate okay. we about need them. To be intentional and deliberate yeah. about these boundaries, whatever they look like for your home. You have heard what it can do for your families. So, of course, I'm sure you're going to jump onto that bandwagon, but even what is more important, you're going to let go of your emotional baggage at this amazing emotional reset yeah. that's happening this Saturday. Thank you so much, Jackie, for accepting my invite. Thank you so much for giving us these amazing tips. And I'm sure, guys, I know you've been quiet, but you're taking things away. And now, as we come to the end of the year, you're going to be having an emotional reset. Thank you so much, Jackie. And I welcome. Hope you will come back next year and tell us a bit more. Welcome. Thank you for hosting me. I don't, how, how do I leave? <laughs> you just press the x at the top there just Thank press you, the my x. <laughs> the x is the door when you press the x the door opens and you and you love okay. the group <laughs> thank you thank you so much for hosting me i thank hope you. that's what our conversation was of value for yeah. the people that were listening yeah and I hope I will see some of them or all of you if you oh, register exactly. for the emotional reset. So have a good evening, people. Thank you so much, Jackie. There you have it. An amazing end to Tuesday Talks at 3 in 2024. We had Coach Jackie Care there just dropping some nuggets. Well, the recording of this episode will be up on my YouTube channel, which is voiced by Lucy by this evening in another one hour or so. And I'd love for you to go in there, just drop some messages for me. Thank you so much for joining me. As we come to the end, Black Friday is still happening on my pages jump there for amazing three products at 40 percent off however now that you're here i'm gonna let you into a secret black friday is coming and this is the first time i'm saying this in this year I'm going to be offering 70% off on two major programs that I have. The only thing that you have to do is get in within those 24 hours. The minute that I post it, go in there and just drop in Black Friday and I'll get to you with the details so that you can pay by the 1st of December, 70 percent of one of my programs is 150,000 shillings and you're going to get 70 percent off and it is a leadership program it is 12 weeks that takes three months you want to hop on there and make use of it so that you start your year after this reset emotional reset then you have something to work on thank you so much for being with me this year as we log off I will still be putting some comments and posts on my Instagram and it will be inspirational and educational. And guys, I'm dropping my podcast on Saturday, the last episode. We're just wrapping up now. And as we wrap up, currently I'm running the Lady in Waiting program. It's on day two. It's finishing on Thursday, as I told you. We're just wrapping being up grab something that really benefits you and thank you so much for joining me i want to wish you a very happy festive season happy holidays we'll be back in january with tuesday talks at at three until then be kind to yourselves bye-bye now